The out resurrection should be the goal and destination of our Christian life. So it's the goal during our lifetime. It's not just a far away goal. It's the goal in your lifetime. Because I say, what's important is how we end. So I just take a little time to share a a parable that I invented for the trainees. And it has a professional football background. It's the parable of the two-minute drill. That in professional football, I I don't watch anymore, but I I think they still have this rule. At the end of the first half, the whistle blows, there's two minutes. And then especially at the end, as you're nearing the end of the fourth quarter, there's the two-minute drill, the two-minute drill. And the quarterback and all the athletes are trained to carry out certain plays during this two minutes. And an expert of this was John Elway with the Denver Broncos. And they were playing a home game. It was toward the end of the fourth quarter. They were 12 points behind their opponent. So even the most loyal fans were starting to get out of the stadium, to get ahead of the crowd. But they forgot. This is John Elway, who's an expert at the two-minute drill. And so he went into action. They knew what to do. You send your receivers out, not too far, close to the sideline, throw a pass, They catch, step out of bounds, stop the clock. You move ahead. Another one, send out your receivers. Not in the midfield. And they'll be tackled and the clock still goes by the sideline. So in about 40 seconds, they're down in front of the goal and they score. They convert. Now they're five points behind. But now they have to kick to the other team. The other team gets the ball. They'll just run the clock out. But there's something called the onside kick under certain circumstances. And so both teams put on what they call the hands team, those that are good for grabbing the football. And so you kick in a certain way. If it goes to a certain distance, it's anybody's ball. So they did it. And the Broncos recovered the football on the onside kick. Then here comes Elway again. And before the clock runs out, they score and they win by one point. Okay, they score. Or maybe two points. Okay. And the reason I do that is not just to give you a little moment of lightness (laughs) from a rather you know, weighty word. But, but to make this point, it's how we end. And I was reminded of this in my contact with the Lord this morning. And the simple prayer was there. Lord, just let me have the proper end. I'm still hoping it'll be this way, right? And I mentioned this Because I'm looking to the Lord to infuse faith into you. Do not allow the enemy to bind you, to limit you. It's not too late. The one who really knows how to carry out the two-minute drill is the resurrected Christ. He knows exactly what to do. He knows where we are. And what needs to happen? I have seen this in the lives of dear brothers where the final victorious move was toward the end. Our God is for us. Paul said in Romans, if God is for us, who can be against us?